Hello friends, welcome to Finance MCQ. Friends, today we will discuss the vacancies released by Odisha Construction Corporation Limited. So let's start the video. Friends, Odisha Construction is a government of Odisha undertaking. It has released the recruitment notification for the post of senior accountant, accountant, accounts clerk and clerk in Odisha construction. Friends, online application starts from today that is 5th January 2024 and last date of online application is 25th January 2024 till 9 pm. So by this date you need to fill up this application form and you have to fill the application form through online mode only by visiting website of the company under career section. Now let's talk about the vacancies in detail. So for senior accountant, there are 15 post pay scale will be in the range of 35,400. It's a level 9 pay scale. Then second post is account clerk. Here total 13 vacancies are there and the pay scale starts from 21,700. And third one is for clerk. There are three vacancies and pay scale will start from 21,700. Now application fee. Friends, unreserved category candidate and SEBC category candidate required to pay 500 rupees as application fee and for SCST rupees 300 is the application fee and for PWD category candidate there is no application fee and there are category wise vacancy position for senior accountant under unreserved category out of total 8 vacancies 2 vacancies are reserved for women candidate and like this for all other reserve category there are vacancy for women category so total out of 15 vacancies 5 vacancies are reserved for women category candidate and in accounts clerk out of total 8 vacancies for unreserved 2 vacancies are reserved for women category candidate and total out of 13 vacancies of accounts clerk for women candidate 5 vacancies are there and likewise for clerk out of 3 vacancies 1 vacancy is reserved for women category candidate now let's talk about the eligibility criteria friends first there is a general eligibility criteria that you must be able to read write and speak odia fluently so you should have a odia language then only you are eligible and apart from that you should be either passed middle school examination with odia language as a subject or must have passed hsc examination or equivalent examination with odia as a medium of examination in non language subject or you should have must passed odia language subject in the final examination of class 8 or above from school or education institute recognized by government of odia or central government or must have passed a test in odia in middle english school standard conducted by school and mass education department government of odisha so they are saying basically you should studied in odia school or you should have a knowledge of odia language now education qualification asked for this post so for senior accountant qualification asked is either a ca inter or cma inter and the experience asked is three years post qualification experience friends your article ship experience will not be counted so do keep this in mind three years post qualification experience preferably in construction manufacturing industries of PSU government private company having tally or ERP accounting knowledge then it is acceptable then for second vacancy accounts clerk qualification asked is degree in commerce with minimum 50% marks in aggregate from recognized university there is no experience asked and for clerk post degree in any discipline or equivalent with minimum 50% marks is acceptable so for accounts clerk bcom degree is required and for clerk any discipline degree is acceptable now the age limit candidate should be between 21 years to 38 years as on 1st may 2023 so do remember that it is a backdated cutoff date so by this date you should be between 21 years to 38 years and there will be upper age relaxation to candidate belonging to reserve category candidates now exam pattern your stages of examination are as follows for stage one there will be a computer based test and for stage two skill test qualifying in nature so here whatever marks you obtained in your computer based test based on that they will call you for your skill test and you just have to qualify that test and stage 3 will be your document verification so there will not be any interview based on your computer based test if you score good marks the chances are you will be selected and candidate will be called for skill test in the ratio of 3 is to 1 that is one post three candidate will be called now the syllabus is mentioned for the post of senior accountant, you first will have a language test here, English language test, questions from English will be asked, then 
second part will be odia language test so basically grammar and composition under odia language will be asked then second part consists of your objective general knowledge so basically questions from gk will be asked and third part will be related to your technical syllabus that is basically from accounts audit law and taxations question will be asked and fourth part will consist of basic computer skills so ms window ms office topics will be asked then for accounts clerk post first part will be of a language test again english language as well as odia language questions will be asked then second part will consist of gk and third part related to your technical syllabus basically from commercial accounting and taxation so it's a simple graduation level questions will be asked and not difficult questions then fourth part will be of basic computer skills again ms window and ms office related questions will be asked then for the post of clerk again the same thing first will be language test english language as well as odia language questions then second part will have gk then third part will have objective mathematics so basically maths questions will be asked quantitative aptitude from these topics then fourth part will be your computer skills so ms window and ms office questions will be asked so all my those friend who are meeting the eligibility criteria you should definitely give it a try since it's a government psu company you will get a good exposure as well as good experience working with the psu companies so do give it a try if meeting the eligibility criteria so thank you so much for watching this video till the end